This morning, the royal mourning period is over. The king's new cipher has been released, and the royals, including the Prince and Princess of Wales, are back to work, visiting the nation of Wales for the first time since receiving their new titles. They're starting their visit in Anglesey, taking the time to strengthen their relationship with communities across Wales, according to Kensington Palace. Kate and William are now the two most popular members of the royal family, stepping up to serve the new king. And the whole family is ready for the spotlight, according to Katie Nichol and her new book, The New Royals. The reason that William has found it so hard to forgive Harry is because the departure of Sussexes from their public roles has put a huge pressure on William and Kate and their family. That sort of move into the spotlight for them as a couple, but also as a family, has been accelerated because of the departure of Harry and Meghan. The crowds two weeks ago welcomed the reunion of the so-called Fab Four, brothers William and Harry and Kate and Meghan, all united in grief. But it was a highlight many didn't expect. We didn't imagine all four of them to be together, but I think that was the Queen's last wish. King Charles honoring his heir, Prince William, but also his youngest son. I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. And through the week leading up to the state funeral, the country's two beloved brothers side by side. Almost reminiscent of a time where the foursome was wildly popular. We all hoped that the funeral was going to be an opportunity for not necessarily a family reconciliation, but at least the start of one. Charles is absolutely determined to try and smooth the, the rift out, to try and get things on a better footing. He wants a relationship with his son. He wants to see his grandchildren. But now back to living on different sides of the Atlantic. Prince Harry reportedly working on a tell-all memoir and the Duchess of Sussex back to her podcast, though no new episode this week. The two brothers, thousands of miles away, settling back into two very different futures. And Molly, a lot of things changing with King Charles taking over, the anthem changed, and then the currency changed. So any idea when we'll start seeing King Charles on the money there? Yeah, exactly. Not immediately. It's going to take some time, though. By the end of the year, Hoda, though, we should get the first glimpse of the design with King Charles on the front of paper money. The coins will also be changing over in the next several. All the money, both paper and coins with Queen Elizabeth on the front, will stay in circulation at least for a couple more years. Hoda? Oh, sounds good, Molly. Thank you. I know I went straight to the ATM in London. I was like, I need to get Queen Elizabeth on the money. That's <laughs> good, no. good souvenir yeah. and collector's yeah, items. Yeah, a couple too. of things. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.